Hello and welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you clicking on the video here. Today I'm going to be talking about the C8, the 2023 Z06. I recently got to see this car at the reveal, sit in it. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. I currently own a 2020 C8 hardtop convertible. I love the car and I'm very excited to see what the Z06 is going to be able to do on the track and on the streets and just to you know, actually get the opportunity to drive one and own one. So I wanted to walk you through kind of the build that I'll be doing, most likely what I'll be doing for my Z06. Without further ado, let's just jump right in. So as I mentioned, I currently own a C8 Stingray hardtop convertible. I'm planning on keeping that car, so I think for the Z06, I'm likely going to go with a coupe option. I'm going to click on convertible just to see if it'll pop it up here. Looks like my let me reconfirm just because it's not popping up the image. There's the convertible. Now we're gonna switch it back to the coupe. Just so there we go. Okay, so there's the coupe. So that's most likely what I'm gonna do. I think with everything like the engine appearance package, this is definitely the engine I'll be wanting to show off. That flat plane crank. Um, they call it the LT6. So let me go in here. And we're going to look at some of the other options so I can show you, again, what likely I'll be doing. And, you know, you never know. It may change by the time I actually put the order in. Uh, but for now, I think this is the engine, or excuse me, the build that I'll be doing for my Z06. All right. So first thing, color. So when I think about the color, we're going to start with the exterior color. When I think about exterior color on a car like this, I have to also consider the interior because there are certain color certain colors you can put together that I just don't think <laughs> necessarily should go together or look the best. For example, we're looking at what we have right here. So far we've just got the red seats. That's kind of what it pops up with standard. Um, I think there are a lot of exterior colors you could do with that. But for example, yellow, I personally, I'm a fan of the yellow. I think the Accelerate yellow, I saw it at the when they were coming out with the C8 Stingray, I saw it at the San Diego um, Auto Show. And when I saw the yellow, I thought it was absolutely beautiful. But when you put yellow with red, uh, it kind of looks like you got like a mustard and ketchup car. That's how I think of it at least. So I don't think yellow and red is necessarily the best combo, at least not one that I would do. Now, I, I'm going to get back to the idea of red interior though, because I'm a big fan of that. Now, one color that I almost did on the C8, my uh, hardtop convertible, was the Elkhart Lake Blue with the red interior. Now, this is kind of one I've seen pictures of cars done this way, of C8 Stingrays, and I've even seen C7s done this way, and I think it looks really cool. It's very, um, you know, it goes with the U.S. flag kind of look. You know, you got the red, blue, and if you do a silver wheel, you kind of got almost like a white there, so it definitely kind of has that USA vibe to it. Also almost like a Superman vibe, which is kind of the direction I think I might go on my Z06. So I'm going to leave it for now with the Elkhart Lake Blue exterior. Now if we go back to customize performance wheels. Okay, so here's where it gets a little interesting um, as far as on the visualizer. So we've got the Z07 package, performance package. If you get that package, you do also get the carbon ceramic brakes. Now, if I click on carbon ceramic brakes right here, okay, I can get the carbon ceramic brakes by themselves, all right, but when you click on the Z07 package, okay, they're included. See that carbon ceramic brakes? They're right there. It's the second thing that gets added to it. So if you don't want to get the Z07 package, but you still want the carbon ceramic brakes, according to the visualizer, it looks like that will be an option. Um, there are a few other options on the Z07 package that I think will be offered as standalone options, and we'll talk about those in a little bit. But the Z07 package, let's actually go back to that for a second. So you get aerodynamics, visible carbon fiber ground effects, which look awesome. The um, new carbon fiber high wing spoiler. I didn't, honestly, I love the, the high wing that comes with the C8 Stingray. I didn't quite understand the new carbon fiber spoiler that was on the Z07 until I saw it in person. And believe me, it looks freaking awesome on that car. It um, 
it totally works. When I was standing next to the car and saw the spoiler, it totally fits. It's much thicker than it looks in some of the pictures. Um, it, to me, it kind of looked like almost like an afterthought in some of the pictures of it. When you see it in person, it looks phenomenal on the car. So I will likely get the Z07 package because there are some things I think I want to do, some additional carbon fiber options that I'm going to make for the car and base off of the OEM options. So I think it will be in my best interest to get a Z06 with that Z07 performance package. So Z07 does also add the yellow calipers. I'd probably go with an edge red caliper just because I will be doing red interior slightly different from what we're seeing right now but I will be doing a red interior and then the wheels here's where it gets interesting and this is where I'm gonna first start talking a little bit about the pricing we've got a lot of different options for the wheels as you can see here just like with the calipers uh, this year they added a gray caliper which is kind of cool let me just put that for a second just so we can see what that looks like well that's pretty cool gray caliper there of black gray caliper would probably look good with the black wheel i could see this definitely being popular on like the um, silver flare ceramic matrix gray i could see that color being a pretty popular option they also add an orange caliper which is obviously a great option works really well actually with the blue car uh, i'm not going to do it because i'm doing red interior but obviously you could do it on the blues and of course on the new amplify orange color that's i think what it's really meant to complement and go with. So I think I'm going to go with edge red. Bright red's a little too bright for me for this exterior color option. Now if we go to the wheels, now this was something that the executives were talking about at the reveal. Um, the carbon fiber wheel, visible carbon fiber wheel, I'm going to click on this. This, I mean this wheel looks beautiful. A couple things though about this wheel. One, I know it is going to be, just looking at how Chevrolet prices their carbon fiber options. I'm guessing this wheel set, if you get these four wheels, it's going to be in the five to $6,000 range. That's my guess for those set of four wheels. Now, the thing with visible carbon fiber is it looks great, but if any damage were to occur to this wheel, you can't repair it. Like if that carbon fiber gets messed up, you know, on a regular wheel, even if it's like a, let's say a black painted wheel, you know, um, if it gets scuffed, you get a little road rash, whatever, even if it's not your fault, if someone with a shopping cart were to ding it hard, if something happens to the wheel and it's a black wheel or any other painted wheel or a uh, titanium wheel, you could get it sanded, get it repainted. It can be fixed. With this carbon fiber wheel, if anything were to happen to nick or damage that, the look or of the wheel or the carbon fiber itself, you can't repair it. You would have to get an all new wheel. And how long do you think the wait's going to be? And what do you think the price would be? Just imagine what it would be for one wheel. Not to mention the fronts of these wheels on the Z06 are 20 inch and the rears are 21 inch. So again, if you're looking at a wheel where this set is, let's say $6,000, you could be looking at you know, close to fifteen hundred dollars plus. I'd say more like seventeen to nineteen to replace a single wheel, just because there'll probably be a markup if you're buying one. If they even have that option, you might have to buy two more wheels just to get the one wheel that you need. So for me, I don't think the carbon fiber wheel is the direction I would go. Now they do have the carbon fiber wheel, which is uh, painted carbon flash. So here's an option where if you like the look of the wheel. I think this is a much better option, but the only thing is when you click on this, this is interesting. When you add the carbon flash, excuse me, carbon flash painted carbon fiber wheel, so the carbon fiber wheel painted, it's painted carbon flash. What's interesting is what it says here is that spoiler, which is a carbon fiber spoiler, also then comes in carbon flash. And the ground effects, which are visible carbon fiber, then also get changed to carbon flash. I don't know if they just do that on the visualizer or literally if you change the wheel, if it's going to change all of that. Because I think most people are going to want to leave the visible carbon fiber on the car. So the wheel that I would likely do would probably be 
this black Z06 wheel right here. I love black wheels. I think um, you know they look good. I'm not too worried about stuffing up my wheels, but if they did get stuffed up, you can always get them fixed. And I just think they look great on these cars. So that's the wheel that I will likely do on my build. Now, if we zoom out here, let's zoom out here. Let's go to uh, actually let's go to customize again. Let's see what other options we have on the exterior. So again, I did the Z07 package, so I'm already getting that new carbon fiber uh, high wing spoiler. Now with the exhaust tips, you do have the option for black exhaust tips. Now that's always awesome. So if we turn the car around here, let's just take a look at the back of the car too. So you got the silver exhaust tips. Now I don't think they look bad. I actually like it because it kind of gives a little bit of contrast there. But for me, I like the black things out. I like the blackout chrome and things like that. So I would definitely go with the black exhaust tip. There you go. That looks mean right there. That's the look that I would be going for. Now, I mentioned earlier about the engine cover, okay? When I saw this car, that engine cover is gorgeous. Um, and they have two options in the engine. You have the engine cover and you have the engine appearance and lighting package. Now the engine appearance package looks very similar to the engine appearance package that was is offered on the C8 Stingray. It has the carbon fiber pieces on either side of the engine and there's the little LED interior lights that you get when you uh, raise up the back hatch right there. Now if you notice, here's the engine itself. There's nothing directly over the engine, no carbon fiber above the engine. So if you get the engine appearance package, that's just the carbon fiber on the sides. Um, they're not the exact same as the C8 Stingray because the compartment, the spacing is a little bit different. So if you have a C8 Stingray, those pieces will not fit on the uh, Z06 or Z07. So, oh, whoops, let me go back here. If I go back now, so that's the engine appearance package, which I would definitely want to get. And then the other thing that I would do is add the, the carbon fiber engine cover. Now this cover, when I saw this cover, man, that thing looks good. And the way that they have it angled, you can actually see it. If you were standing outside the car, it's much easier to see this engine cover than the one on the Stingray. Uh, the one on the Stingray sits very flat over the engine. This one, the back of it is propped up, so it's much easier to see from outside the car uh, with the hatch closed. So I would definitely go with all that carbon fiber back there because that looks beautiful. All right, moving right along. Let's just, let's just make sure, is there anything else on the exterior? I'm not really a big fan of the stripes. Um, carbon flash painted outside mirrors. No, I don't really need that. Carbon fiber mirror caps. Can always add those later. That would be everything that I would do in the exterior section on the visualizer. Moving on to trim levels. So for me, 3LZ. 3LZ trim level, that just gives you additional leather and suede everywhere. And it also does give you a few more options, which we will get into here in a moment. And this is the main one that attracts me. When I saw they were doing adrenaline red dipped interior, wow. This is what really sets this car apart, the look of this car. And what's going to be a, another immediate identifier that it's not the Stingray, that it's the Z06 is this adrenaline red dipped interior. Look at this. Everything, I mean the carpets, the A pillars, the B pillars is red. Look at that. That is absolutely the option that I would pick right there. We're gonna add a couple things to this, so let's see what else we've got. Um, when we go back in here to interior colors, we've got a couple options here. There are two different carbon fiber um, options. There's package level one, package level two. Now currently on the visualizer you can only pick one or the other. I will definitely be doing the carbon fiber package level two. The carbon fiber package level one very similar to what you see already in the C8 Stingray. You see with the carbon fiber package one you get all the carbon fiber right here okay around your display screen. You get carbon fiber underneath the mode selector over here and you also get carbon fiber on the left and right side where the window controls are. Now going back to the carbon fiber level 2 package 
And you'll notice when I select this package, it's going to remove the carbon fiber level one option. So it's already changed it here. And notice, see the check mark, it removed it from level one, which leads me to believe you have to pick one or the other. Now this is the package I'll be getting. Look at all this carbon fiber. You still get the one around the display screen up top here. You do lose the, the uh, carbon fiber around the controls on the doors where you roll the windows down. You also lose the carbon fiber underneath the mode selector, which is interesting that they wouldn't leave those there. We'll see. Maybe when they actually uh, come out with the pricing, you will be able to buy both options. I think a lot of people would like that. I know I certainly would. But between the two, this is definitely the one I would choose. Look at all this carbon fiber you get here in the center console. I mean, the cup holders going all the way up here. This is all carbon fiber. All around the switches is carbon fiber. And this carbon fiber goes all the way up here. And even on top of the dash here, there's carbon fiber. This up here is all carbon fiber. If you go to the sides, running along the top here, all carbon fiber. Go to the other side, same thing. Actually, let me swing around this way. Same thing. All carbon fiber here, and this continues all the way up and around. And of course, the one thing I didn't mention, front and center, on both options is you get this carbon fiber steering wheel with that 3LZ package. So this is the option I would choose. And there's one other thing in this section that I'll choose. Notice the uh, the Bose speakers, you know, they're that kind of brushed silver. And up here, this is like a chrome look. Underneath the infotainment screen, you've got chrome looking um, trim pieces above the glove box. And also this over here is like a chrome looking trim piece. I know it doesn't really appear that way in the visualizer, but that it, it is, it's a chrome piece. Here you can kind of see it. This is chrome. This is chrome, and it's really bright inside the car. But one thing that they've done that Chevrolet is offering on the Z06, if you go back to interior colors, is this stealth interior trim package. And that you can get with either one of the carbon fiber packages. And you'll notice, look what that did. It makes this piece, this piece, and the passenger side trim piece all Almost like a piano black, it looks like. When you see it in person, um, it's almost like a piano black. It's very dark. It also makes those Bose speakers dark. The two on the doors and even the Bose speaker, it's kind of hard to see, but this one up here on the waterfall, it blacks that out too. Love that look. Definitely the way I'll go. Oh, and also, excuse me, also these controls here around these switches get blacked out as well. So. I think if you're going to do, especially this carbon fiber package, go with the stealth package, blacking everything out, because that looks killer. That's how the Corvette needs to look. Uh, lastly, let's see, let's go to the seats. The only thing in here for me, I'll be doing leather. Um, they do have the suede option. I'll definitely be doing the leather, I think. I say definitely, and then I say I think. Let me even just see, if I do suede, would allow you to do suede with the adrenaline red dip? I believe it will. Well, it looks like it did. Now, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, if, if they're following what they did with the C8 Stingray, this would make kind of down here suede. Um, it would do, on the Stingray, it would do suede around the controls over here. But, of course, we've got the carbon fiber. Um, also in here would have been suede. We've got the carbon fiber. This will likely add a suede steering wheel and probably suede on the center parts of the seats. And then on the headrests, if they follow what they did with the C8 Stingray, on the sides of the headrest, so over here on the side and on the opposite side would be suede with suede in the center down below here. So we'll see. We'll see if that's, a, if that's how they do it on the Z06. I'm guessing it is, but again, for me, I'll likely stick with leather do the all leather. The only other thing, again, GT2 seats, that's the one for me. Absolutely, that's what I have on my Stingray. And then the one other thing, obviously we have to add when you're doing the red dipped, really I think you should do it with any red seats, is that red seat belt. So, there you have it. This is how I'm planning to build my C8 Z06. Red dipped, 
carbon fiber everywhere. Look at all that. And then if we go to the exterior, there it is. Elkhart Lake Blue, Edge Red Calipers, the Black Z06 wheels. We've got carbon fiber side skirts, carbon fiber front splitter with additional carbon fiber lips that come up on the sides right here. Those look amazing in person. We've got the carbon fiber Z07 uh, rear wing, high wing, black exhaust tips because that just looks stealth and amazing. The carbon fiber appearance package for the engine. Those are the two pieces on the side. The carbon fiber engine cover which again props up very nicely. You can see, you can kind of see there. It's kind of how it looks when you're standing outside the car. You can really see it well, that engine cover. So that's going to look really, really nice. And then look at that. I mean, that, that's Superman right there with the blue and red. Let's go ahead and put the, uh, the roof on it there. There you go. that's it I think that's gonna be how my Z07 build is gonna look right there go ahead and leave a comment let me know what you think of the Superman Z07